Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First thing, let's set up our composition. I'm going to name it kinetic type 25 and I will make it 1080 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and press OK. Cool, now let's select the type tool and write the letter. In this tutorial, we will need to make the letters of our words individually, meaning each letter will have its own layer. So the entire thing I'm going to write is doing damage. So it will be a few letters. Let's do this quickly. Cool, now with all of our letters selected, let's right click and go to transform and choose fit to comp. This will scale our letters and stretch them to the same size as our composition. I know, it may seem odd, but this will make sense soon. Cool. Now select the layer and go to Effects and Distort and select Power Pin. Then select the effect and copy and paste it into all the other layers in your composition. Nice. Now let's turn off all the layers and just keep one visible. Before we start positioning the letter, we need to create some solid guidelines to help us. So let's start with the solid. Right click over our layer stack and go to New, Solid. Make it a nice color so you are able to see it easily. Then, still with our solid selected, press R for rotation and rotate our solid 45 positive degrees. Then press S for scale and scale it down until it's a little bit smaller than the composition. So this solid will help us position the letters inside of this diamond shape. But besides the solid, let's press Ctrl or Command R to activate the rulers. And let's push some guidelines to help us. Nice. Now let's select the visible layer and go to the power pin effect. A mark a keyframe in all the properties. And let's fit the first letter into the diamond shape. When we finish the first letter, let's turn on the second letter, mark the keyframe on all the properties and let's position the pins once more. Perfect. Now, we need to do the same thing for all the other letters, but I will speed up the video, so don't need to wait for me to finish. Cool, with all the letters in their initial position, let's move the timeline needle to something like 20 frames and let's mark the secondary position keyframes on the letters. So select one text layer, click on an effect to activate the pins, so you are able to see them and choose them. And let's start positioning them. I will speed this part up because I'm pretty sure you get what's happening. Excellent, when you finish, copy the keyframes from the last layer you just suggested and move your timeline like a second and paste the keyframes, creating this really nice old pause before we move back to the initial position. Then let's move the timeline something like 20 frames and copy and paste the initial keyframes. And yeah, we're gonna need to repeat this process for all the other layers. And when you finish, give it a little preview, just to control your anxiety a little bit. Now select all the keyframes and open the graphic editor. And select all the keyframes again and make them easy and ease. Then adjust the curves to make something steep. And give it another preview. And yeah, it's almost there. Now we can leave the graph editor behind us and minimize all the layer keyframes. The next thing we need to do is to select all the layers and right click and select Precompose and give it a nice name. Then press S for scale and in the first frame let's mark a keyframe and make it 70%. Then let's move the timeline needle to the next keyframe in the timeline and let's change the scale value to 100%. Copy the keyframe and paste it one second later, like we've done before, and on the last timeline keyframe, let's copy the initial keyframe and paste it here. 
And then let's just open the graph editor to make some quick curved adjustments. Then yeah, that's it. The only thing left to do is to add the Nike logo, which you can find easily on the internet. So I'm just going to import one to my timeline. And for the logo animation, I use a radial wipe. So with our logo selected, let's go to effects, transition and select radial wipe. I move the wipe center to the tip of the logo, then just keyframe the transition. Something like 7 frames will be really cool because it will be very quick. Then select the keyframes and let's go back to the graph editor, just for a quick adjustment. And yeah, let's trim the layer before the diamond closes again, and that's it. Give it another preview and appreciate this really cool kinetic type exercise we just made today. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. And check my other kinetic type tutorials. I'm sure you're going to find something cool there. And if you can and want to support this channel, you can sponsor me on my Buy Me A Coffee page, where you can become a member and get access to this tutorial working file, among many others. And some excellent scripts and design assets. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, a good life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.